When the cell membrane is at its resting membrane potential, the activation gates of the voltage-gated sodium ion channels are closed and the inactivation gates are open. Voltage-gated potassium ion channels are closed. Depolarization is initiated by a stimulus which makes the membrane potential more positive, causing the voltage-gated sodium ion channels to start to open. As threshold is reached, many sodium channels open. Sodium ions diffuse across the membrane causing depolarization. Voltage-gated potassium ion channels also begin to open, but more slowly. Therefore, depolarization occurs because more sodium ions diffuse into the cell than potassium ions diffuse out of it. As the membrane potential approaches maximum depolarization, the inactivation gates of the voltage-gated sodium ion channels begin to close and the diffusion of sodium ions decreases. The potassium ion channels remain open and potassium ions continue to diffuse out of the cell. The increased potassium ion permeability lasts slightly longer than the time required to bring the membrane potential back to its resting level. The extra efflux of potassium ions causes the membrane potential to become slightly more negative than the resting value. After the voltage-gated potassium ion channels close, the active transport of sodium and potassium ions re-establishes the resting membrane potential.